Rob Boston. Rob Boston. Rob Boston. Rob Boston's Entertainment Week in Review. Well, this week, female actresses took the spotlight in the world of entertainment, so let's get to it with the biggest story of the week. That's right, it was announced in the past year Jennifer Lawrence was the highest grossing female actress in Hollywood. In fact, she made over $52 million, meaning men and women alike all wish they spent a little more time in drama class. The Actor's Art by Bernard Huppert. <laughs> And speaking of high-paid actresses, Megan Fox made headlines this past week by announcing she's getting a divorce from her husband of five years, former 90210 star Brian Austin Green. Most of us, let's be honest, were surprised they were even together in the first place. In fact, what has he done since 90210? Anyway, they said it's a mutual split, and they'll be splitting their assets 50-50, which is good news for the unemployed 90210 former actor Brian Austin Green considering her bi-weekly check is worth 902 okay you get it it was funnier when I wrote it and other actresses making headlines this week Sarah Michelle Gellar made a public statement saying she's teaching her three kids social awareness I think I speak for everybody in the world when I say thank God she's not teaching them acting no way you, you can't quit I was going to quit in like two seconds. And now everyone is going to totally think that I copied off the smart girl. And now for a little male presence in this week's Entertainment Week in Review. Zayn Malik, former member of One Direction, had a best friend speak out publicly this week, comparing him to Chris Brown. Yeah, apparently he's unhappy with the attitude of the young musician, saying he's exactly like Chris Brown, but without the hits. I think we can all agree that's a good thing, considering it's the hits that got Chris Brown in trouble. Rob Boston. Rob Boston. Rob Boston. Rob Boston's Entertainment Week in Review.